Hi, this is Billy Joe with Spiritual Guidance and Tarot with Billy Joe. Um, I do know that I've been absent for six months. However, I will get into that in just a moment. Um, this pick a card reading is for lovers and separation. I have four piles here. You can either skip to the timeline down. The timestamps are down in the description box. You can either skip to them or you can listen to um, some announcements I have to make. So, of course, first let me get to why I've been absent for six months and then my <laughs> videos have been sporadic until they was non-existent. And that's due to me having to do some self-care because I've had some health problems. I have had um, health issues and diabetes and of course obesity and which caused a lot of things. I have female issues and I've been working on self-care, getting myself healthy, eating a um, healthy diet, cleaning, eating clean food. Um, and I am getting back to myself. Self-care is extremely important. Um, I'm very proud of myself because I have lost 51 pounds um, since the beginning of March and um, my blood sugar is going is gone down to a, a manageable level and my heart <clears throat> my uh, um, cardiologist sorry my cardiologist gave me an all clear so uh, that's awesome um pay attention to my nails i have not got them done <laughs> in quite a while so um yeah now also the thing that i want to mention is that i am not going to be doing any um personal readings for quite a while um just because I'm still focusing on my self-care. I do find pick a card readings very fun. I love everyone who, you know, is subscribed to me and watches me regularly. Um, if you haven't subscribed after this video, I, I hope that you enjoy it and you decide to subscribe to me. Um, do be fair warned that sometimes I do get sporadic when I am focusing on, on self-care. Um, what else? Oh, so I'm going to be trying to get back into my routine of uploading pick a card readings and I will be doing some lives. Um, and basically that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, let's see. So again, here's the four decks, uh, pile one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Hello, pile one. If you chose this pile, this, this deck is, there is no life without the chaos of darkness. Um, this is my daughter Chris's deck. This is the very first deck she has ever created. The very first one and only one so far. Hopefully, um, she's going to have time to get into her more creative side. She is extremely creative, very artistic. Um, I think she got most of the imagery, you know, online. Um, but again, she is, she's a very talented young lady. But let's get started. Uh, the first two cards I pulled has to do with you and your par partner. So to represent you it may be you or your partner the sun and the second one is the chariot now i did um pre-shuffle all these so sorry <laughs> i just wanted to get these done without uh going ahead and getting these done so what this tells me is Quite possibly, one of you may be a Leo and the other one may be a Cancer. Or even if that's not your sun sign, because your sun sign isn't who you are. That's just a fraction of who you are. Um, so 
these can be very strong placements in you or your person's um, astrological placements. It can be strong placements. Uh, also, you may carry the characteristics of these. For example, the sun, um, which is a very beautiful card. Um, <clears throat> my daughter is a, is a Leo. Chris is a Leo. And I feel like um, this depicts how she feels like a fallen angel. Um, but the thing about Krissa, she's like a phoenix. And this kind of reminds me of a phoenix. Except, you know, here she is. She landed in water. So, I mean, the flames are going to go out. She's going to rise again. Um, and the ashes are going to get washed away in the sea. The, the sadness is going to get washed away. And the sunshine is going to come out. The sun does represent happiness and joy. So, this is someone who's going to be, you know into their own happiness making sure you know this is someone who is um tries to make other people happy in his or her life the chariot you know um is forward motion to me this represents someone who um of course i'm a cancer and that's my sun sign Leo is in my Venus. So, um, Chariot. This is someone, um, again, who, who wants to, they may sometimes like to pull the reins, you know. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. Um, we can be, you know, short-sighted sometimes, but... In actuality, most of the time, now I just say sometimes because I'm going to say, we want to plan for the future for the long haul. We want to feel secure in that, and we're going to move forward with our plans and what we want. And the chariot does represent moving forward motion. So you have two people here, you know, and, and quite possibly what I'm getting for this, maybe one of you is you've been burnt and you're still healing your wounds and the other one's trying to drive it forward move it forward so that's two aspects that quite possibly may be um, important in this relationship okay let's see here so as you see I got these new little doohickeys I'm from the southern I'm southern I'm gonna call them doohickeys Okay, let's see here. We have the Eight of Cups. Hopefully you can see it. Um, clarified by, I want a fresh start with you. Now, these are the Hermit Tarot. Um, I, like, I love her channel. And the other one, too, came out was Seven. Do you even see me that way? So, with the Eight of Cups, to me, that's like possibly quite possibly one of you walked away from this relationship of course it does look like the sun person here has been burned maybe the chariot person was a little controlling um and of course if you're if there's any leos here that picked this pile let me tell you i understand y'all cannot be controlled you're gonna do what you want to do <laughs> um so but quite possibly there's some things that's happened that's some darkness that's happened um and eight of cups to me represents having to walk away and do some healing and so with it being clarified by i want to first start with you do you even see me that way so this person that you're with the, your soulmate to me i'm intending these to be soulmates um wants a fresh start with you and often wonders if you even think about that with them so then we have the six of cups clarified by number nine please give me time i've never felt this way before so one of you may be a little scared you know six of cups to me um six of cups of course often represents maybe you've known each other for a very long time or since childhood you have a lot of memories together um you have history and 
even through your history, this person realizes they've never felt for anyone the way they feel about you. And quite possibly, I feel like it's the same for both of you. It's not just them towards you, but it's you towards them as well. Um, this also can represent for some of you that you have children. And um, there has to be consider, I feel like there has to be consideration of getting back together because it's not just um, the sun that would get burned. And I'm just picking this up for some of you, not all of you. Um, but some of you, you got burned and now you, maybe you have children and um, maybe you just need a little bit of time, you know, to make sure this is what you want. You can see those. Then we have the Four of Wands. Of course, to me, the Fours represent stability. Clarified by listen to your heart. So I feel like both people in this connection really want stability. Um, four of Wands, for those of you who are familiar with Twin Flames, high level soulmates, those that's on a soul mission, soul journey. Four of Wands often represents um, union, coming into union. And I feel like both of you, your hearts are telling you you're getting to the point where you both realize that you both want union with each other. You want stability with each other. And you really want to follow your heart. Then we have the Seven of Swords, clarified by I Need Time for Me. Okay, let's look at that. Seven of Swords. So, um, to me, this is bring me back to where, where this angel's been burnt. You know, there's been some kind of deceitfulness, maybe some lies or betrayal. Maybe someone or both of you felt like you've been betrayed, um, lied to, and that person, either you or them or both of you, you know, sometimes, you know, relationships are a two-way street. It takes both of you to make it happen. And maybe both of you have betrayed each other in some form or fashion. And you both need just a little bit more time. Even though you know you both love each other, you just need time. We have the Queen of Wands. I love this card. It's really beautiful. It really represents um, like the strong fire energy, a feminine fire energy. Um, Leo, oh my goodness, I went blank. Sagittarius, oh my goodness, I went blank. You know how you, who you are. I don't mind if you comment. Hey girl, you and your forgetfulness is crazy. I'm right here and I'm a fire. Aries, Aries, yes. See, I'm getting argumentative with myself and I remembered my Mars is in Aries. <laughs> so the Queen of Wands is, okay, there's two cards here, clarified by Love Me and the Ace of Pentacles. So to me, the Ace of Pentacles represents um, that seeds have been planted. There's, there, of course, we, we pick up, there's history here, of course. And um, so the Queen of Wands is extremely fiery. She's really into making things happen. And she really, you know, to me, this is saying that um, both of you are really fired up, ready to make things happen. The seeds have been planted and you both just want the other person to love you. You are both feeling that way. Then we have the Empress. She is clarified by, I left because you told me to. Oh, wow. So Empress, again, um, there's that energy of maybe one of you has a child we do have the Six of Cups back here again. I'll remind you, you had the Six of Cups. And now the Empress, who is the mother. So, um, again, and maybe for some of you, you don't have actual children. Maybe you have fur babies, um, whatever it is. Very um, 
person who's into nature and um, mothering, nurturing personality and wanting to, um, of course, also is the divine feminine. So quite possibly the divine feminine in this connection what left because they felt they was told to. Um, I know this reading is, is quite often, it, it's funny I used her cards, but it's really, this reading is reminding me of my oldest daughter, Krista, and maybe you have similar circumstances as her. Um, I know she's been with someone who went to jail and they broke up with her because they didn't want her to wait. Um, and quite possibly, I'm, and I'm picking that, that type of energy where maybe something may have happened and you and your person couldn't be together. And maybe they said some hurtful things that they didn't mean just to make it, because they didn't want you to wait. They was thinking of you. And, oh, that was my cat. She just scared me. <laughs> Jumping on them tall shelves up there. Nix. <laughs> um yeah and they recognize you as their divine feminine but um at the same time it's like this is um selfless they, they felt like those being selfless finally we have the nine of wands clarified by i worry about us a lot and love is the answer um to me, the Nine of Wands is the ride or die. This is the person you fall back on. Um, this is the person that is your backbone, your rock. Um, when the going gets hard, when the going gets tough, um, they get stronger. There's a lot of strength in this connection. Um, even though both of you worry, um, due to circumstances that are possibly in the connection, you both know that you love each other. And there's it's like an unconditional type of love. So let's see here, what else do we have? We have the Three of Passions, and the Three of Stability. Um, so, 3-3, three, three, you may see in the numbers 3-3 three, three a lot. Um, some other numbers I see is 1-1-7-7. One, one, seven, seven. There's a lot of 4s in here. A lot of 7s. Okay. So, 3 of passions like this 3 of Wands, um, where you're looking out and waiting for your ship to come in. Um, some of you may have a long distance relationship, um, and then, but then maybe some of you are looking to wait, waiting for, looking and waiting for that stability here. Um, three of stability is like the three of pentacles, and that's where you work together. You're, you're not just, you're not just soulmates, but you're friends as well. You work well together as a team. We have the number 28. Look at the longing in that Divine Masculine. Just holding that rose up. To me, it, this card represents um, a Divine Masculine who's just really wanting to offer, offer his rose like the Bachelor. We have the number five, which is um, Tree of Life. This tells me this definitely is like a deep soul connection for the two of you. Um, there are lessons that you're meant to learn in this lifetime together, and I feel like you've probably got roots in other lifetimes as well. We have the number 24, Thief. Okay. So with these other little cards, are number 33. Here's number 33 again, Concern. And number 37, Poverty. Okay. So... Quite possibly, maybe one of you, your person, quite possibly may feel like they've been robbed. Or um, there's been some unfair situations. And it causes them to kind of hold back a little bit. Um, 
quite possibly you or your person has had some hard times. Uh, I don't want to go so far as saying you're living in poverty. Um, some of you may, but I really feel more of a strong urge that maybe you've had some hard times. Um, maybe you've, again, you've been burned, you fell down to the ground, you hit rock bottom, and you've had to build yourself back up. And you have concern as well. Maybe you feel like your person robbed you of happiness. And maybe your person, even though they told you to leave, um, and you can take this flip-flop it if you need to, but maybe um, I'm taking it as they told you to leave and you felt robbed of that happiness. Um, and sometimes it can happen where someone tells you to leave and then after they tell you to leave, it's like, they're upset with you because you actually left and they felt left you know to me i'm, I'm seeing the in, in my head um i'm seeing like they felt abandoned so to speak um you are their secret lover and they fuck and run so, again, that goes to you kind of keep coming back to each other. I just have that strong feeling you keep going back to each other. Um, but then when things, the, it starts heating up and all those feelings, it's like you're scared to allow yourself to feel things. And not just you. I feel strongly that's mirrored between both of you. Um, I feel like you get together in secret quite possibly. Maybe um, one of you is in another relationship. We have, my beloved, I just want you to know that our love story isn't over yet. Don't allow time to take you from me. It is all in divine timing. Just know I astral project to you, not only at night, but also when you are doing your daily task. I am always watching and protecting you. I love you dearly. Yours truly, Divine Masculine. So your Divine Masculine wants to I feel like your divine masculine would be someone who um, wants to express how they feel or your divine feminine um, even though it says masculine I feel like you know it's just your person and maybe you sense your person's energy around you just know that you are not going crazy your divinity awakens me quite possibly you may have woken each other um, or, you know, the, maybe quite possibly Divine Feminine. Usually Divine Feminine does awaken first, and then it triggers the awakening in the masculine. I want you to trust me. I think you both feel that way. I both, I think, I'm getting feelings that um, you both really love each other, but at the same time, you're really scared to love each other. And sorry, boo, I hate to tell you this, but you already love that person. You already love them. You're just lying to yourself and them too. Okay, I'm going to get over with that. <laughs> okay. I crave you every moment of every second of every minute of every day. I regret not telling you how very much I loved you. Is it too late for me to tell you now? Can't you just admire me from afar for now? Like you, you love each other, but you still, you, you still want that distance a little bit. I cherish you, even when you can't see the reasons. So even when you don't love yourself, they still love you. Next, she's getting over there into my stuff. I want to hold your hand and kiss your lips. You are, a, you are one beautiful person. So these are messages from them to you. I can't let go of you. So quite possibly they still run to you. They still, maybe they have become the chaser and you the runner. There is so much I need to get off my chest. They have, they're, you know, they don't feel like this is over. They have so much more to say to you, so much more they want to do. Here comes Nix. Hi, Nix. Are you helping? Mama, sweet baby, get your booty out of the camera. Thank you. 
Now, um, these are messages from the divine, ma divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, so take it how it resonates. This situationship broke me, but then I built myself back up, and I am better than ever. Hi, you honey boo. Come on, get down. Thank you, baby. Get down. I have figured out who I am. I am good on my own. My darling, I nearly forgot your face. I accept the war I've went through and my scars tell a story. So this last card is from the deck of the gods and the titans. So when I was shuffling these, I was asking um, for spirit to show me the your counterpart the divine well i'm asking for about who's the divine masculine in this connection who is the masculine and for this i got i don't know if i'm spelling pronouncing it right but it says by am by am by am i'm not sure how to pronounce that but um it the, the book says look at the beauty around you get outside reconnect with the healing power of nature um it talks about in the rural area of Singleton, Australia, lived the first people of the region. The Aborigines of the, oh, I'm not even going to try to butcher that name, but it's a tribal area. The great spirit of these parts is known as by Bayam, Bayami, Bayam, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this territory is bountiful and filled with prosperity. It is said uh, Bayami decided to come down from the sky and created all this place, from the stunning rivers to the trees and the med medicine plants. Every unique animal and bird he created was beautiful and perfect. He carefully crafted many laws for the people to live by in order to for them to sustain a peaceful and beautiful life. He placed this guidelines in the lore stone for the elders. Come here, baby. Come here. You want your mama? You want kitty cuddles? Let mama finish this, okay? He placed these guidelines in the lore stones for the elders to keep. When he completed his work, he returned to the sky from whence he came. Humans saw that Bami had made it was full of splendor, and they were grateful. Bimi is normally depicted with huge eyes and no mouth, and he always faces the front. So, you know, what I get from this is maybe your person, um, maybe they've got expressive eyes, big eyes, maybe small lips, or um, <laughs> maybe they don't talk much. Maybe they, they're not much um, of a conversationalist. They're a doer and not a sayer. Um, you're, your person may be into nature and nature healing. Um, when you need peace, I would suggest looking to the sky, getting out in nature. Uh, you know, going out there and feeling the beauty of nature, um, breathe it into your soul and follow the voice of your heart, not your throat. So that, I feel like that is the, I think this card actually goes to, is more of a um, suggestive card meaning to connect with nature and quite possibly your person may connect with nature um maybe they like to garden <laughs> so thank you so much pile one for watching my video i wish you much love and happiness and joy bye bye hello pile two thank you so much for being with me today Okay, so let's just, you know, let's just go ahead and just get started. Um, this is for lovers in separation. 
So the first couple cards I pulled um, is meant to represent you and your person. Um, So the first card I have is the chariot. Either you or your person um, may be a cancer or have a strong cancer placement um, in your natal chart. Um, this person is someone who is driven, um, likes to move forward, does not procrastinate. This is also someone who may be, um, this is definitely someone who's woke. And someone who is um, feels divinely guided. Then we have the hermit. So you or your person may be a Virgo or have strong Virgo placements. This person um, again is this is a spiritual journey. And they are they find their way in the darkness they're not afraid of facing um, harsh truths they're not afraid of um, facing a difficult journey um, they are truth seekers um, this person is um, they may spend a lot of time alone. They may like to spend a lot of time in meditation. Just gonna set these to the side. So let's see what's going on in this connection. We have the five of coins clarified by, I just dream and wish for everything. So, quite possibly, you or your person have been abandoned, um, may feel that um, you've been left out in the cold or your person's been left out in the cold, um, quite possibly may have been... Um, a social butterfly. I'm getting a strong feeling maybe this person was social butterf butterfly or you was or they were and then now it's like they don't even have anyone that would help them. They just feel like they're struggling on their own um, and they really wish that I, I also got a strong sense that this person really wishes they could offer you the world. Um, and they don't have much, but what they do have, you know, they would give to you. They wish they had, um, I'm hearing the word freedom, to offer you things. Um, they wish they um, can make your dreams come true. We have, oh, judgment clarified by I just want space in reverse and I want to start a family with you so judgment of course is like the reunion card so quite possibly with this five of coins followed by the judgment card um, with you being in separation it might you may have experienced at some point a breakup um, or miscommunication not maybe not a complete breakup but um, lack of communication and now um, there's a resurrection there's communi communication coming back um, I also feel like this is again a divinely guided um, connection you were guided to each other and both of you are finding upliftment in in solace in each other and it's like you don't want to be away from each other. You are family to each other. Let's see, we have st the strength card. So y'all may have some Leo in you or a placement. And oh, it's clarified by the number eight, the strength card again. Um, I take it that both of you are mirroring each other. You are both, um, warriors soul warriors who have been through you have been through the ringer 
Um, and everything that's meant to kill you has, I mean, you know, it's a saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I feel for y'all, like, you know, you have negative forces and you have positive forces. And the two of you are so divinely protective that negative forces definitely try to break you both down. Negative forces are coming in to destroy you and eat at your flesh. And you are so divinely protected in your connection and in individually and together that it, you have become stronger and stronger. I also feel like y'all have both battled your demons. You've both um, went through the dark night of the soul. You've both battled your ego and have awoken. Ah, oh, wonderful. We have the four of wands clarified by I am a very jealous person. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see green. <laughs> um, wow. Of course, maybe you or your person or maybe both of you are jealous. You both want um, security. You both aim for complete union in the physical and spiritual realms. I, I feel like the two of you are already in union spiritually. Um, in the higher realms, you your souls are all way, already in union. Of course, I believe that, that um, divine counterparts are already in union anyways. And it's just um, you're meant to find each other and come into union in the physical. And there's something that you always have something that you have to do for humanity, for um, others around you and to be the light for guiding people through the darkness and when you come together look when the four of these which four stands for stability when the four of them come together they it's like they feel a prism and light that lights the light lights the sky up and chases away this darkness that's coming in from around it it just chases it away like a beam so when you are together and when you come together, um, you fight away, you know, all of us have to go through our insecurities, like example for the dark night of the soul. Um, we go through, we fight our ego, which is our insecurities. We, we feel like we're not good enough. Um, we feel like we don't have anything to offer. We're not as pretty as another person, not as handsome as another person, you know, all of our insecurities, maybe we feel like um, our, our hiney is too big, or maybe we feel like we don't have a hiney, and we have to push those away. When you come together, it lights up the darkness and chases away all this insecurity, and I feel like y'all have been working on that. Then we have the high priestess. So see, we've got all these spiritual cards. This is definitely like... Um, a twin flame or high level soulmate connection. This is definitely a connection of two people who are traversing this physical realm at the same time, coming together. And um, you have a very um, psychic connection. You can read each other's energies without even being in the same physical um, area. Like, you automatically know your person can be on the other side of the world. And you automatically you just feel when they're not having a good day or when they're having a great day. It's clarified by number four. If I asked you to stay, would you leave? And number seven, I dream about you a lot, too much. So, the high priestess clarified by if I asked you to stay, would you leave? And I dream about you a lot. I feel like, number one, I want to address the fact that you probably dream about each other. There's probably some astral travel going on between the two of you, um, but definitely some lucid dreaming where when you're asleep, um, you are meeting up in higher realms and living out, you know, what you wish could happen down in the physical realm, in the 3D level. And I really feel a sense of trying to what I'm seeing in my head is trying to connect this 
third level density up into higher vibrations so that you can you're trying to traverse this and coming together um, making it all match where you're in union in higher dimensions you're trying to bring up your vibration in the 3D so that you can be in full alignment with where you already are in higher dimensions, if that makes any sense. I'm, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but that's what I see. Okay, so we have Five of Mind Games, which is the Five of Swords, Six of Mind Games, which is the Six of Swords, and Tempress. Well, I, I have to say, I love the fact that we went from a five to a six. So the things that you've been battling in the ego, we do see that y'all have battled some ego here. Um, you have surpassed that. You have went through it and come up on the other side. And this person just looks like, to me, they're there alone. They're looking up, praying and asking, you know, why do I have to go through this by myself? Why do I have to go through all this pain? You know, is anyone out there for me? And then, then here comes number six. And you're, you've overcome the obstacles and challenges in this relationship. And you're able to move forward together. Of course, with the temperance here, um, this, of course, is going to be a long-term commitment. And the things that you're working towards will happen in divine timing you know it's not your timing it's divine timing we have the number 14 the fox and the number one the letter so there may have been some type of i don't feel like there's been any lies or I just feel like maybe, because I'm, it, it's followed by the letter, which is to, to me communication, and maybe your person doesn't tell you everything. Like, I feel like your person feels like they're not good enough. Like, there's, like the fox is sneaking into the hen house, you know, to steal the hen. Maybe he feels like... He is not deserving of you. Um, also, I feel like maybe for some of you, maybe your person, maybe you text them or write them letters or something more than they do, then they're not very good at communication. Um, I just feel with these two together, this person's not good at expressing themselves. We have number 28 for expectation and 15 lovers. Um... Again, with the communication, it looks like she's expecting, maybe she's expecting a letter. This is a whole different deck, but um, you're expecting so much more from your person. We have the lovers here. You expect union. You look towards union. Um, and you're trying to manifest these. I feel this connection, you're trying to manifest that in this, in this real time. In this time, of course, most of you know that time, linear time does not actually exist. So what I'm trying to say is that you're trying to connect this union in 3D timeline. They are in a karmic relationship. So I don't feel like most of your, some of you, your person may be in a karmic relationship. For others of you, they're in a karmic situation where they can't come towards you. There's chains here. They may actually be locked up like in jail or in prison. Uh, they may be stuck in another country, um, can't come to you where you're at or you can't get to them. They have told their friends and family about you. Oh, that's sweet. So they're definitely ain't, they ain't holding back on letting everybody know, look, I got I got my one and only. <laughs> this person is a total stalker. Uh, so this person, you know, keeps an eye on you. I feel like they probably keep an eye on you with social media, um, TikTok, YouTube. If you put anything out there, um, they watch all your videos. If you have a Facebook, um, anything like that. 
they they look at it your facebook your instagram this person is loyal to you this person i mean they that just says it all what is there to explain this person is loyal to you i feel like loyalty is important in this connection only you have access quite possibly your person has closed their heart down but somehow look you've wedged your way in there and you've nailed it down you're like hey you're mine i'm yours that's the end of it you ain't closing me out <laughs> your love transforms me i feel like your person has been through some shit they may have closed off and now please forgive me i don't know i just realized i cussed I do cuss quite a bit. I do apologize. It's probably not going to change, though. Just putting that out there. <laughs> so, um, they were closed off, and you've changed them. You've added light to their life. We have guided union. So, again, um, with the Four of Wands, with judgment. Um, yeah, you are coming into union divinely timely divinely guided and it's in divine timing i'm getting tongue-tied so we have it's hard for me to open up uh we saw that earlier with these little cards down here your person isn't good at with communication and communicating how they feel about you their expectations in the relationship things like that oh yes we can so I don't know what that's for, but whatever. No, Nix. No. 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 No kitty cuddles right now. Okay. Oh, yes, we can. So, um, <sighs> whatever obstacle there is between the two of you, they're like, yeah, we, we can get over this hurdle. You are my only desire. There will never be another love for me like the love I have for you. It was love at first sight. So they have loved you since the very first moment. I have a hard time expressing myself. I, that's come out quite a bit in this reading. So, I respect your privacy, beliefs, and healthy boundaries. So, they're going to stalk you, but they're still trying to respect you. <laughs> That's so funny to me. So, messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Yes, I have secrets. So, there was that fox card. Remember the fox card? They have things they keep from you. Um, you've been a constant in my heart and mind. This person really does love you, though. Um... You are obsessed with me. I don't feel like it's... I, what I'm getting is more like they are obsessed, obsessed with you. <laughs> that's, that's the energy I'm actually picking up. Is They are obsessed by you. Um, so this is messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. Take it how it resonates. I send you loving, healing energy and wish you peace. What we've shared between us has given me wings. And your eyes seduce me and lowers my guard. And then this, this card I picked from the gods and titans meant to represent your divine counterpart, your person in, your, in separation with, your soulmate. So let's say we have, <laughs> we have a cat, which means dedication. Let me get this book here and see what it has to say. Okay, it is time to complete a current project and dedicate yourself to your next venture. It is safe to commit. Oh my goodness, that's exactly, look, it is safe to commit. So, I mean, I feel like that spirit telling you, you can trust this person. Um, and I love this, this is the ancient Mayans where I tattooed people. Maybe your person has tattoos. Not just, to, or you have tattoos, or maybe both of you do. 
not just a decorative art to them. Tattoos displayed clan identity and were seen as rites of passage and a direct injection of divine power. Mayans believe that when someone tattooed a god or his symbols upon his or her skin, some of the energy and power of that god remained with that person always. Since tattooing held such significance, and the accuracy in the depiction mattered so much, the tribe revered the tattooist. So quite possibly one of you may be a tattoo artist. Let's see here. Um, and of course, you know, if you think about it, when you get a tattoo, that's a commitment for life. Like, you ain't getting rid of it. It's there permanently. Um, of course, you can cover it up, but it's still there. Um, underneath whatever you cover it up with, it's still there. But most importantly, I get like this is a commitment for life. This is going to go the long haul. So, uh, thank you so much for watching number two. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, great evening. Hello, Pile 3. So, this pick a card reading, of course, is for lovers and separation. Um, like soulmates, things like that. So, the first two cards I drew to represent you and your person. So, the first one is the Hermit. Maybe you or your person have strong Virgo placements. If not your sun sign, maybe it's a strong placement in one of your other placements like your rising um, Venus, um, moon sign, different things like that. So this person um, spends a lot of time in quiet meditation. They um, seek answers. They are truth seekers, whistleblowers. Um, this person probably likes secrets of the universe. They, they may be into aliens. And <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel that. Starships, I mean, not starships, star seeds. This person, okay, the world consummation. Um, this person is someone who completes everything they, they, every project they intend to work on, they complete it. And um, they don't do anything, excuse the way I say this, but half assed, they do it right. They get it done and they do it right. Um, so they can move on to the next project or the next mission, the next assignment. Um, this also talks about uh, the world to me is a union card. So quite possibly you will be in union soon. Just move these over here to the side. Get these cards. So we have the lovers clarified by I am coming trust okay so again lovers to me again is another union card um, it's also a choice card um, but in this deck of course with attraction to me it's like the law of attraction you're just two two parts of a magnet coming into collision that's going to bam connect together i'm hearing that you're in alignment to come into union um your person is coming to you and they're asking you to trust that they are choosing you and they are coming towards you we have the king of shells the visionary that's like the king of cups clarified by oh sex so y'all have definitely got some chemistry, um, but it's not just sex. King of Shells has to do with love, um, but this person knows how to, um, he ha may have, you or your person may have strong water energy in your chart. Um, 
you can both see past the physical, um, but the sex is going to be great. It's going to be great, especially the with the water there. Mm, going to get some wet, wet. This was not intended to be that kind of reading, so. <laughs> okay, let's move it on. <laughs> we have the Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, just let me move these back over. I don't know why I moved them. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are about to get in motion. They're about to change. We have Do You Even Care? Oh my goodness. And definitely, that's awesome that those followed each other. That is amazing. I love that. Um, if you've had any doubt that this person cares about you, well, guess what? Um, you're going to know for sure here soon. Things are changing. Things are going up in your way. They're about ready to prove how they love you and how they feel about you. And then we have Temperance, clarified by You Are My Everything. So Temperance has to do with divine timing and patience. It also speaks of the long term. Um, this isn't just some quick wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. This ain't no just quick gonna fizzle out like you know the flame is burning bright and then it burns out. This candle is gonna keep on burning. That flame's gonna keep on burning. And then we have the hair fent clarified by reach out. Um Sorry, my cat is out there playing. To me, of course, the Hierophant is a highly spiritual, um, spiritually devoted individual. Um, but it also represents traditional relationships, marriage, family, growing old together things. Um, so this, you know, with reach out to me is communication. And I strongly feel that maybe the two of you need to... Um, communicate more about what you expect in a traditional relationship because guess what it's coming it's going to happen it's it's already set in motion we have king of passions king of mind games two kings this person is definitely a def divine masculine we have the fool so um, there is some, um, in this connection, there's a lot of passion at play, but there's also a lot of intelligence and strength and cunning and imagination, um, blending all together and setting on fire this connection and figuring out a way that you can both take that leap of faith that you can both jump towards jump into um that traditional relationship how you can get it started and get on the roll we have the number 12 the birds which birds have to do with communication number eight which is the coffin not really what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, to me that represents change. And we have number four, the house. So y'all are definitely about to commu be communicating. Um, you're definitely going to be needing communication on how to go through the process of change of maybe you're going to be moving in together. Um, of course, this is a, going to move into the more traditional relationship where you are coming into union. Um, this may possibly, um, whether you see that as getting married, getting engaged, living together, becoming life partners, however you see that for your situation. Um, where you just, uh, for some of you may have talked on the phone for a lot, but actually not been able to, or video chat, but not actually been able to be um, in physical union, there may be a great distance of separation between the two of you, and that's going to change. There's big changes coming in this connection. We have the mature woman and official person. 
So you may be receiving help from either your mother or they're getting help from their mother or um, a confident, important woman in one of your lives to make this happen. Um, official person, again, I'm just seeing that maybe there's marriage in the cards for you. There's some documents maybe. Maybe your person is out of the country and they're trying to get their documentation, their visas, their passports, things like that so they can come this way. There's official things that's already in play. They are upset with you. Oh, oh, again, there needs to be some communication. They are a karmic twin. Okay, so let me get say something here with the high-level soulmates, twin flames, karmic twins, twin rays, whatever you want to call it, whatever you feel that you're in, and, and only you know. You have to go through the ups and downs. You have to go through, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like going through different levels. You have to go through um, the challenges of each level before you can go up to the next ringer on the ladder. And maybe there's been something that's caused them to be upset with you or you've been upset with them. But do know, I do feel like you are going to work it out. There's some communication coming in. We have, I feel a shift between us. There are changes coming in. We've already discussed that. Recovering. Um, so maybe you had an R. For some of you, you've had an argument. They are, um, and then maybe there's been some low energy in, in the connection recently. And um, you haven't heard from your person. Here you are getting all this positive reading and you're probably thinking, oh my, well, I mean, we're not really talking right now. Or they're so mad at me. I don't know if, I don't know if we're still a couple or if we're still a thing or I haven't heard from them in, you know, a couple days or a couple weeks. And I feel like maybe this is the end and I'm really extremely sad. I'm getting that for somebody. Um, do know that this is just, this isn't a no forever. It's just a small time out for, you know, healing, self-care, recovering, learning to forgive um, the other person and themselves. And we have, I'm coming for you. So see, they're coming back. They are coming back. I'm being divinely guided back to you. Will you take me back? Every time I hear your name, it stops me in my tracks. It leaves me shaken, and I have to remind myself that it's over. That it's over because of me. Your love by, bypassed my firewall. So they had protections to keep themselves from having feelings or falling in love. And you just went straight through that like it was butter. You're all I need. Now some messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Do you still think about me? Can I come over? See, they coming. They're coming. I've been a jackass. Please forgive me. Okay. Now, messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. I am not a victim. I am a fierce warrior. Power couple. No one can stop us. And I am no longer the woman you remember. I am the exquisite lady I was always meant to be. And then this last card is by the gods and titans. And when I was shuffling them, I was trying to meditate on your person. And um, I'm, a, I'm just uh, like I'm reading to a divine feminine about her masculine. Um, doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you're the masculine energy or the feminine energy, which is both are not the same. Um, physical and spiritual energies. Um, 
But this is supposed to represent your partner. So we have Vulcan inventiveness. So your person is um, very inventive. It looks like they're probably a hard worker. Um, in the book it says think outside the box and go for the most creative solution. Hold your emotions in check and think rationally. Um, there was one God the ancient Romans valued above all others for his inventiveness and ingenu ingenuity, Vulcan. In his Greek embodiment, um, I'm sorry, I'm not reading all that. There's a lot to that one. But anyways, this, this person is very creative. Um, very hard working. Extremely, extremely tell intelligence and has mastery in what they do. Um, think, um, so this is someone who's going to think outside the box to find the answers they need to um, be able to come into union with you. So uh, thank you so much for watching Pile 3. I hope you have a very wonderful evening. Good night. Hello, Pile 4. Thank you so much for being with me this evening as I record this video. Um, I hope you are all doing well. This pick a card reading, of course, is for lovers and separation. Most of you are soulmates or high level twin, high level soulmates or twin flames. Um, maybe your karmic partners, maybe your twin souls, twin flames, twin rays some type of soul connection so the first couple cards i pulled was meant to represent the two people in this connection okay so we have the moon this person may be a pisces or have a strong placement of pisces this person has secrets <laughs> um also with the mood moon they may have um i don't mean anything ugly about it but they may have be a little moody um, maybe their moods shift rather easily this could be you or your person take it how it resonates and then we have the lovers um, so the other person may have strong Gemini placements um, this is someone who um, often gets faced with a lot of choices they have to make decisions um, again can be a little um, I don't want to say moody, um, not emotionally moody, but sometimes, um, sometimes they can come off as being a little wishy-washy. Um, not, again, not in an ugly way, but it's more like, um, they may feel like or think they want to do something a certain way this day, and the next day they're like, no, I think I better do it like this. Um, However, Geminis do tend to be extremely highly intelligent individuals, um, which is funny that it's the lover's card because, of course, Gemini energy is air energy and very logical, and to me, the lover's is very um, emotional. But we always have to remember that when it comes to love, love is more than just how we feel in the moment love is a choice a you know when you say you love someone every single day that you get up you're making that choice to love that person um so you have for the two individuals you have the moon and the lovers <clears throat> so let's see what we got going on here we have the Three of Stones, clarified by what do you want, and this love scares me. So let's take a look at these. Three of Stones has to talk about like um, working together. Maybe you met this person at work. Um, it talks about partnerships and friendships and working together to get something done. Um, 
quite possibly one or the other you may have a choice to make on a partner deciding who you want um, <clears throat> and that can be please excuse me that can be a scary situation um, also I don't know why I'm feeling this but maybe um, this isn't for all of you this is maybe for one person listen maybe two I doubt it but maybe just one I'm hearing polyamorous relationship um, and in that type of dynamic, um, there's always have to battle any kind of insecurities, um, making each person feel secure and not like a third wheel. Um, but for most of you, I feel like maybe this was a work connection, um, Maybe you had to work together on a project or something of that nature. And, but this is talking about, you know, if you want to make this work, you have to make that decision. Even through the tough times, you have to make that decision. Are you going to love this person or are they going to love you through the worst of it, the worst days? Then we have Ten of Mirrors, which is like the Ten of Cups, clarified by number 15. I am obsessed with your body. Okay. Um, they think you're sexy, sexy. Um, <laughs> ten of Mirrors, Ten of Cups has to do with ultimate fulfillment in love and emotions. Um, and look at all those mirrors. They just... I feel like they could look at you. You may often um, catch them just staring at you from across the room with those wonderful doe eyes, loving, you know, loving eyes. Um, but this is a lot of love in this connection. This is a relationship that has... Maybe you've moved in together, you've lived together, or you've um, been together for a little while, and you're still just as crazy about each other as you was before. Of course, we're talking about people in separation. So, um, maybe this started off as lust, and, you know, they saw you from across the room, you saw them, sparks fly, um... It's one of those, I'm seeing in my head people crashing into each other. Um, yeah. Let's move forward. So we have the Mime, which is the page of spiral, spirals. It's like the page of wands, clarified by you matter. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. Because with wands, of course, that's fire, passion, energy. Um quite possibly this was a uh, started off with sexual attraction and they realize now that they you matter to them it's more than just sex now your opinion matters um, what you think and what you say matters to them um, of course there may be some for some of you there may be some passionate moments such as you know, passion goes two ways. Not just sexual, not just, um, you know, maybe not even fighting, but like, maybe you don't always agree. Maybe you don't have the same opinion as each other. We have the four of spirals, clarified by I feel the same way. So you both want security. I don't feel like um, there's something has happened here maybe y'all haven't felt secure about um, maybe at first but but then you moved into it but you do feel the same way in the fact that you both want that happy home together you want that ten of cups you want to matter to each other
I do feel like maybe you started off, you either worked together or you was friends, and it just kind of comfortably moved into something more meaningful. This is a, a comfortable connection. Um, I, I feel comfortable right now. I feel, um, yeah. And y'all just want that stability. You don't want this to burn out. We have the Empress, the King of Stability, Nine of Emotions. Well, there's a lot of love here. And Six of Stability. Okay. So, if you're not pregnant now, you may become pregnant here in the near future. Um, you also may have children together, or you may want children together. Do know that that is um, an opportunity for you. That is in the cards, of course. Um, you are very fertile at this time. And, of course, I do feel that quite possibly um, y'all may form be forming a family together. And this is going to be, you know, a very stable um, connection. It's going to be very fulfilling. And it's going to be traditional. You know, living together or getting married, having a family together, um, and working together, collaborating. Again, with the three of, of, of um, pentacles, three of coins, which in this deck is the three of stones. You're working together, and quite possibly that's what that I was getting with working together. Because with this card right here, it represents working together and collaborating to support each other. Okay, so quite possibly that's how you got stability is actually working together, communicating well, and finding your way to each other, finding a way to coexist peacefully. We have number 32, the moon, and the number seven, the snake. Okay. Okay. So there's some hidden secrets here, some things. Um, <clears throat> some type of betrayal or lie or something that's being hidden either from you or your person. Um, the moon has to do with seasons as well, so quite possibly it may have happened in the past for y'all. I feel like this is something that you would know about. I mean, I even though I said they're secret, I feel like maybe it came out, it was exposed. Or maybe you had a secret. We have number seven, message. And... Number 10, Journey. And number 30, Judication. Okay. Now for some of you, you may have had a happy home and you're in separation because, and you had a family, you're in separation because some lies came out, maybe someone um, cheated or lied or did something deceptive or betrayal, something that caused you to go your own way, they filed separation. Um, I'm hearing that um, there was something that was done and the snake to me, and what I've seen is representing maybe someone you thought was a friend, but they're more like a frenemy who um, wanted to see you hurt and they let you know they told you something or told the other person something. Maybe you thought it was a friend and they told your partner um, your secret with you know before you could get it out in the open. And this caused the separation because in the journey card 
his back, his back is to you. See? So he's leaving. And then these people are standing apart in front of a judge. So it just looks like maybe most of you probably had some kind of legal battle with each other like a divorce. We have, they are cunning. This person prefers the single life. And they are hiding you from their family. So I'm feeling like if one of you is having an affair, do know that it's going to come out. Um, and the person that you... I don't want to say that you're having an affair, but if there's something like that, and there's a third party involved, do know that third party does not have the best intentions. Like, they're not going to give you the fulfillment. You know, I, I really feel like, because I have felt comfortable, I feel like maybe y'all got into a rut, and you was very comfortable with each other, and you lacked that excitement that you once had. Um, and quite possibly someone else came in and sparked that excitement that you didn't feel anymore. Maybe you probably wasn't looking for it, but they found you because they're cunning. You know, like, um, for example, um, I have a friend who was happily married and she had to work with, there was some she had to work with and they had to work together one-on-one -on -one a lot. It was just the two of them. And it got to where they were so comfortable with each other that she would discuss, they, she would discuss her marital problems with this other person, this guy. And then he comes in like a shining armor, um, acting like he, telling her she, does, she deserves better than this. And, and it kept on till finally she gave in. And it caused a rift in her marriage. And, and then when it all came down to it, he really just wanted to be single. He was just, a, you know, wanting to get in her pants. So, it, I mean, it wasn't like he was planning on introducing her to his family. Um, because she was his little dirty little secret. And when the truth came out, he just really, you know, it wasn't no fun no more. I'm getting that kind of energy with like a third party situation similar to that. Um, and whether that happened with you or it's happening with your person, and maybe that's why you're in separation. Um, yeah, that's why I'm strongly getting that in this connection, someone went outside the box. They went outside their stability looking for excitement. And oh, they got it. Okay, message just to you. I pray for you, my love. I pray for you. You're in my prayers. This connection needs a break. Well, you're in a break. I'm scared you might know my secrets. Ooh, maybe for some of you, you don't know. And I'm, I'm sorry to be the messenger of bad news. I'm resisting the surrender. Hmm. Hmm. Take those how they resonate, honey. Maybe you got the secrets. We were best friends. Oh, look. Would you look at that? Let me read that again. We were best friends. I love you. I need you. I miss you. Will you let me come back to be your best friend again? Aww. If I had a time machine, I'd go back to make right what went wrong between us. I miss you so much. I can't let you go. I'll tell you my dreams. Tell me your dreams. Now some messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I thought I knew you. Now I'm not so sure. We have things to fix between us. I am completely vulnerable where you are concerned. 
I understand if you want to give up on me, but I hope you don't. We need to figure out how to make this work. And from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, I allowed you to wreak havoc and disturb my life no more. After all this time and everything we've faced together, I still love you fiercely. It took me a long time to be able to hear your name and not feel resentful. And then when situations boil, you either crack or get stronger. I got stronger. You won't break me. And then this deck is the gods and titans and I meant to pull a card representing your person but for you two cards came out so we have Hades death and hypnos sleep um so of course everyone knows Hades the death card so there's you know it says death is not always a negative thing Everything has a season. Leave behind what you no longer need. Um, and Hades name comes from the Hellenic word for invisible. And this is because the realm of the underworld, also referred to as Hades, is invisible to all. Um, This represents a lot of change. Maybe the ending of a situation. It's going to sleep. We have hypnos for it's going to sleep. Um, and quite possibly for changes to happen, you have to take a time out. It may be, you know, this... It looks like this might quite possibly be a separation for quite a while. Y'all had stability, but right now it's broken. And there's a lot of work to be done if, if, if it's going to come back. Um, I, if you've had a lot of um, stress and worry maybe you've lost a lot of sleep and you know these are meant to tell you that you need to take some self care this time out you need this time out whether you want it or not you know and I feel like probably most of you probably would I feel like most of you are the divine feminine energy that's like oh, this person totally ruined what we had and, and if it's you that ruined it, if you do know it takes both sides to communicate, and if they're not ready to communicate yet, it's not going to happen. There needs to be some healing in this connection. So I hope this, you know, helped you, gave you some type of clarity. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye. Hello, thank you for sticking out till the end. You know, I like to show and give credit to the decks that I used. Um, so I'm just going to go straight to the point. For pile one, I used this deck my daughter created called um, There is No Life Without the Chaos of Darkness. This is Chris's deck that she created. It was pile one, I'll just leave it here. Um, pile two was the um, Legacy of the Divine Tarot. Paul three was um, the Enchanted Love Tarot. And Paul four, that's how it was. Paul four is the Chrysalis Tarot. This is a beautiful deck. This is a beautiful deck. 
the other decks I used in this reading. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. I used the Kipper deck, the um, Gilded Reverie deck, Gods and Titans. The Hermit Tarot, Flames of Love and Passion Tarot by um, Angelic Revelation 144, The Real Deal Oracle by Angelic Revelation 144. Twin Flame Hunger Vampire Edition by the Fire Witch Tarot. Divine Ladies. Message Oracles from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. This is one of my decks. Of course, um, there's links to all these where you can purchase these cards down in the description box. And then finally, we have the Marvelous Men um, message deck from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Again, this was created by me as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Have a beautiful evening. Bye-bye.